What's good, YouTube? It's Ricky Desktop here, and I'm about to go eat dinner with my parents, but I kind of first just want to talk to the camera because I don't want to bore them at dinner with everything that's on my mind right now. And also, they don't fully get it with the music industry and blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to talk at the camera and post it, and if you happen to see this and you have an opinion or just want to talk about it or say anything, obviously comment or hit me up on IG. So, a couple weeks ago, my manager, quote unquote manager, because he's not officially my manager, but hits me up and says, yo, Capitol Records wants you to do a remix of their song, Joseph Black, I Hope You Miss Me. I say their song because it's Joseph Black's song, I Hope You Miss Me, but they have him signed, so they own the master of that song. That's important in a sec. So, I was like, nah, bro, I'm kind of busy. And he's like, my man is like, bro, nah, come on, just do it, please. And I'm like, all right, sure. So I do it. And more of the story is it goes viral. My dance song goes viral because that's what I do. I make viral beats on TikTok. If you know who I am, you know that. If you don't, look me up. That's what I do. So that happened. It's a 15 second snippet and like, as of right now, there's 220,000 videos made to it. It's popping off. And I never got, got paid that 2,500 from Capital in the first place. Um, for whatever reason, my fault. I didn't sign anything or whatever. It was kind of just up in the air. And so the song goes viral. And usually I would just post it on Spotify so people can go listen to it. And so I'm talking to Joseph now, and he wants me to post it. But I'm talking to the head of Capital, and he's like, no, you can't post it. <laughs> and it's really not that complicated. Like, that's basically, because I usually would just post my shit with TuneCore or DistroKid or United Masters, just independently, just distribute it. And I'm just feeling like, fuck, man, this is so whack. It's this kid Joseph's fucking voice. I basically sampled four seconds of it, created a trend with it. It's going viral. And I want to give the people what they want and let them have the song on fucking Spotify. And this Capitol Records dude is basically like, no. He wants... He is just like viewing it in a different way than it is. He's viewing it as, alright bro, we'll just give you a flat fee for the remix and you don't get royalties. But it's like, nah. Not only did I not even really remix it, I just sampled it. I also started a whole viral trend with it and it would be getting tons of streams if it was up and like me and joseph are talking we want to split it 50 50 but they own 80 percent of his career so his 50 percent would get cut down to 20 percent of 50 percent and it just that would be whack for him and then the label would see me as winning in that case because i'd be getting 50 percent of the full pot and I don't even care that much about the money. I mean, it's honestly more the principle for me. I just don't agree with labels owning people's masters. And it's just a weird little situation, to be honest, the way it is. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I just think labels are fucked. It's annoying. I wish I could just post it. Um... And I literally just talked to this guy on the phone, the head of Capital. I said, bro, I would about to post it right now featuring Joseph Black and it pops up on his Spotify. And he says, we're going to request a takedown. And I'm like, bro, so you're literally going to shoot your own artist in the fucking foot? Because by it being on Spotify, Ricky Desktop featuring Joseph Black, his monthly listeners are going to go through the roof. Because my monthly listeners are going through the roof. Because my shit's booming right now, bro. But the fact that it was just released independently. This guy on the phone was like, oh, TuneCore, Distro Kid, United Masters, as if it's the devil. And I'm like, bro, you're the fucking devil, mister. I don't want to say this guy's name, but look up. Head of Capitol Records, president of Capitol Records, bro. So I literally was cursing on the phone. I'm like, bro, you're a fucking clown. I'm angry about it. I don't even, like, care that much about the money aspect. I, it's the principle that makes me angry. So, I don't know. This is kind of a rant. I probably should have been more clear about how everything was, but 
that's what I got. So let me know what you think. If you have any comments or whatever, but peace.